Hello everyone, uh, welcome to Coloritaville. Today we have the uh, Santori uh, Book Hall. Um, this, these are all done by Charles Santori. And I got them in late, 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 late last night. So of course I want to bring them to you as quickly as I possibly can. Of course you've seen this one, uh, Donna has colored in this one. Uh, this one is a Peter Rabbit, the coloring book. And it's illustrated by Charles Santori, and I hope I'm saying that correctly. Um, it does have both story pages as well as coloring pages. I'm going to actually try to color these um, for a child I have on my Christmas list. So I'm hoping to get this colored by Christmas. There is, I think, 12 beautiful really large pictures in this book um, all depicting the uh, Peter Rabbit and the story of Peter Rabbit uh, the same as as it was when we were children but instead of you know just looking at the pictures you get to color them which should be lots of fun of course, you wouldn't want to color these with uh, ink um, because it will go through the page or shadow uh, the opposite opposing page. And the opposing page has all the writing on it. But it's absolutely adorable pictures. I love Peter Rabbit. It was one of my favorite characters when I was a child. And of course, Mr. McGregor's garden. And there's Mr. McGregor, Peter. Absolutely wonderful. Down in the the rabbit den, and of course, is sick Peter. These were written by Beatrix Potter. Uh, Beatrix Potter passed away in, or it was published between 1866 and 1943. Also, also did Benjamin Bunny and Jeremy Fisher, which were also ones of my favorite books when I was a child. Same with The Velveteen Rabbit, another one of my favorites. Uh, this, uh, this illustrator also illustrated The Night Before Christmas, um, as well as Tales of Peter Rabbit, The Velveteen Rabbit, and uh, Paul Revere's Ride as well. Oh, he also illustrated The Wizard of Oz, which is fantastic too. So on the front and back cover, it does show how he illustrated um, these pictures. Of course, you can, you know, follow his illustrations or you can color them your own way. So here's the front of the book with his illustrations on it as well. You know, absolutely gorgeous book. It only has 12 pages to color, but like I said, if you want to do a... Uh, a book for a small child and make it personal and make it special this is a wonderful wonderful way to do that is to purchase one of these story coloring books and color all of the illustrations yourself and that way they can say this person gave me this book and put in the time to make all the pictures beautiful so that's the first one is the Peter Rabbit coloring book it's written by Beatrix Potter and illustrated by Charles Santori. The next one is the illustrations from Classic Tales, a coloring book by Charles Santori. And this one is just so cool. This is the one that Deb, thank you Deb, was coloring in that actually started the purchase altogether. 
So of course, on the inside of the, the cover, it has the illustrations, uh, the way the, the illustrator colored them. And this one, this book's a little bit thicker. Of course, he's got some Benjamin Bunny. I liked Benjamin Bunny. They're so adorable. And the Velveteen Rabbit. And the horse. Yeah. Uh, the Snow White's mother having a dream of having a child. The ox and the frog. So it's basically lots of pictures throughout different fairy tales from when I when we were children, like uh, Dorothy with the seven uh, with all of her friends from the Wizard of Oz and the Good Witch. Of course, Peter Rabbit having his his carrots and lettuce and radishes, and there's the fairy and the Velveteen Rabbit. Oh, of course, the pages just decided they don't want to turn for me. And of course, there's Snow White, stepmother, the evil queen, talking in the mirror. And another one from the Wizard of Oz in the Yellow Brick Road. It's got Dorothy, the Tin Man, the Cowardly Lion, Toto, and Scarecrow. It's got all the characters there walking down the Yellow Brick Road. And there's another one from Peter Rabbit with the cats, the cat watching the, the goldfish. And there's Nana with the Velveteen Rabbit in the garden. And of course, these are all pictures that are parts of these stories. This is Snow White uh, with the seven little chairs and the seven little beds. So when she first came into the seven dwarves house. Uh, Mr. Jeremy Fisher. And of course, the Flopsy Bunnies. And the monkey, the king, monkey king, and Tom Thumb, and Mr. and Mrs. Flopsy with uh, stuffing Mr. McGregor's sack with rotten veggies, and Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs when Snow White falls asleep in their bed, and the bear and the bees. Uh, Flopsy, Mopsy, Cottontail, Peter, and Mother Rabbit. So there's quite a few Peter Rabbit ones in here as well. Uh, the we Wolf in Sheep's Clothing, as well as Tom Thumb, Hukana Mukana, uh, Hukana Munk Hunka Munka, and Causing Mischief. This one looks a little bit, um, a little bit more rough drawn. And of course, somewhere for you to draw your own picture to color. And the way that the illustrator has colored those pictures as well. Sorry about that. So this is 22 artworks to color. Um, the watercolored illustrations are what's shown on the inside covers. All coloring pages are blank on the back so you can uh, cut out and frame each creation. So th this one doesn't have the words on the back. So of course, if you wanted to use markers in this book, you could absolutely do that without ruining the story. And the next one is Aesop's Fables. And I'm not sure if many people remember Aesop's Fables, but I do. Um, unfortunately, this book, I had to reorder it because when it came, it's damaged. It looks like it has been spilt on or it's got some water damage of some sort. But I'll show you the pictures. The pictures are still viewable. I just wouldn't want to color on the paper. So I have reordered the book and they told me to keep this book because there's no way they can resell it with the damage that's on it. Okay, so Aesop's Fables, a coloring book. Okay, so Aesop, the legendary fa uh, fabulist, is from ancient Greece, 
and he's given us all sorts of uh, famous fables. So these are pictures throughout. And of course, on the inside of the covers is the way that the illustrator has colored them himself. And like I said, there was some damage done, uh, some sort of water damage done. This actually has a list of all the artworks. So it will be a lot easier to pull everything up. And it's got the little sayings at the bottom of the, the story, sayings on the bottom. Of course, these are also one-sided. So you can utilize your markers in these books as well without ruining the story. And it does have a few duplicates of, of ones that are in the classic Tales book. Also some of the Peter Rabbit ones. You know, little stories like the lion and the mouse. And no disguise. You know, just really cool little pictures, the, the lion with the thorn. And it has uh, little sayings at the bottom. A position earned without merit is easily lost, as easily lost as gained. You know, it's easy to despise what you cannot get, you know. It reminds you what the stories were. Lost time cannot be recalled, you know, that sort of thing. The pictures are beautifully drawn. Uh, and like I said, I'm going to color the uh, Peter Rabbit one and give it to a child that is on my Christmas list. So I'm really hoping to be able to get that done in the next couple of months. But, you know, just looking through these books last night, it just rem reminded me so much of the different books that I read as a child. I was a big bookworm as a kid, so I had all sorts of these books. It is better to bear a single injury in silence than to bring about a thousand by reacting in anger. You know, is that not so true? And idleness brings want. So, you know, the ants are preparing for the winter. And of course, the grasshopper is just lounging around in the sun. Flattery is not proof of admiration. So you cannot prove that you admire somebody just by saying flattering things to them. Actions are, are louder than words. And of course, it gives you a place to draw your own. Oh, it gives you two places to draw your own, which is great because you can utilize those pages to put behind your pictures if you decide to do them in uh, watercolor or in um, alcohol marker. And of course, he's got the way that he colored each of those pictures as well, which is wonderful. And that's the three books that I received for Charles Santori. Like I said, I'm going to uh, definitely be coloring in them. Uh, we may even do a color along um, because I want to do this one here, the Peter Rabbit one, for a child on my Christmas list. And I will actually keep it in the book. <laughs> I won't cut them out. And with that, I, I hope that uh, I have enabled you into um, reliving your childhood and purchasing these books so that you can color a piece of your childhood as well. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, of course, like, hit and hit the like button, uh, subscribe, and 
um, hit the little bell so you get reminders. Leave us a, a comment. I love to hear from all of you. Um, if you want to join us over on Facebook, we do have a Facebook group. It's called the Cozy Coloring Corner at Coloritaville. And of course, fill out the application form and we would be happy to get you in there. That link is also in the uh, about section below. And I will leave links to all of these coloring books in that section as well. For now, I thank you so much for watching and I wish you a wonderful day. Until the next time, color, relax, and always stay safe. Bye-bye for now.